Don't ask how this reminds me. I owe IKEA an apology. <laughs> what stage is yours? <laughs> <laughs> More, please. <laughs> Some episodes ago, I was comparing a poorly written code to IKEA furniture. Ooh. Ouch. Uh -huh. Not as part of unpopular opinion. Did you get a cease and desist or something? Uh, no. It's not allowed <laughs> in Sweden ever again. <laughs> it's not a Swedish company as people think, apparently. Yeah, no, no longer. It, it, it was and still branded as one. But a friend of mine who is a cloud consultant was helping IKEA to migrate to the cloud and to also Please adopt Go. Please don't say China. No, no. And then they <laughs> mentioned to him that Go is nice and everything, but she trashed us on Go time and that's not nice. <laughs> so I apologize. I'm sorry about that. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> it made it far. I know, right? It was like not that's... cool for me. And I will do better. You have to shoulder the weight of responsibility that comes with wielding this microphone. Wow, wow. That's, that is amazing. That's such an amazing story. Well, hopefully IKEA will, you know, hear word that, uh, yeah, JK, you know, Natalie did We'd love to it. have you on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, yeah, we would. Yeah, if they're using Go for stuff, I mean, yeah, I think that would make a fun, fun, fun episode. So he, there you go, uh, IKEA. You've, you've received a formal invitation from the folks at GoTime. Come talk and to us about the things apology. you're doing. And a formal, and a formal apology. apology. There you go. Great meatballs. It's great. <laughs> Everything's great. <laughs>